you know, about five or six years ago, I was a little involved in the startup scene here. We've always been a weird kind of business in that where we're not startup y enough for the startup scene. We're not BPO enough for the BPO scene. We don't have an office here. We have a large, you know, work from home remote team, 60 all across the Philippines. And so, you know, we haven't really found like, you know, our people just yet. But I'm always excited by the entrepreneurial potential and possibility of a bunch of comp sci kids in a room with laptops in their underpants or pajamas, hacking away at ideas that might be. Because that's the absolute best time in your life to be building something. When you don't care if you work 100 hour weeks, when you're doing it just because when if everything goes to shit, you can move back in with your parents or maybe you're still living with your parents or maybe you're living here, whatever. You know, I think that's I think that's just such an awesome opportunity. So I'm really grateful to see there is a scene here starting. And I think like, you know, Mindanao is a bit of an underdog in the Philippines and we all love an underdog story, but there is a passion and there is a fire here. And, uh, you know, like I'm here with you guys. And it is promising and inspiring to see that, you know, Manila and Cebu are well established, but we have the ecosystem and the support being established here. There's angel and VC support coming along. There is government support happening as well. I met with DICT last week who are looking to have an additional 75,000 ICT jobs created in Mindanao uh, in the next couple of years. Uh, So from 75 to 150,000, they wanna double uh, the ICT jobs here, which is great. We have amazing universities here. And so an ecosystem thrives when there's community and to come here and have lunch last week and then have this event come together is awesome. Uh, and I was saying to Z, my girlfriend here, Taka Davasha as well, you know, just before we started, I just, you know, I had said, shit, these guys can execute. Like that's, that's awesome. And you know, when you can execute and you've got a solid vision and you've got the balls to go for it, then awesome. So excited to see what happens here. What is our part in it? We have, we've been here as an employer for a number of years, you know, we're obviously sourcing talent in the region, but we're not a you know, a dev shop or a dev house ourselves. We have a small development team, but we're more looking for consultants, project managers, uh, you know, tech tech support, technical people. And so we're very happy to be a, I guess, you know, a cheerleader for the startup ecosystem here. I may participate as an angel or, you know, VC uh, investor. I'll see how that goes. No current plans, but I want to be around it. Personally, I've shifted from the goal of optimizing for income to now optimizing for impact. Our business is in good hands commercially. It's growing. We've got big goals and, you know, we can help a lot more people around the world. So we want to grow that business. But most of my time now is spent on more impact driven projects. So we have a project called Uplevel and that's a computer recycling program. And so we're taking computers from BPOs, from corporations, maybe some donations as well, refurbishing them and then deploying them to underprivileged community groups. And uh, with our partnership with Google, we're deploying Chrome OS Flex. So we're reflashing the operating system. When most computers are donated, they either uh, end up in landfill uh, or sometimes they go to e-waste uh, recycling, but they basically just get dismantled. The precious metals get shipped to China and the, the metal goes to scrap. And most people just get, you know, like 20 pesos per kilo for the, for the scrap. And that's about it. But a computer, you would know if you've installed your own OS, you flash it with a Linux operating system. If it's got an SSD, it'll last for another five years easily. Uh, and so we want to change the culture of e-waste in the Philippines and help to reduce computers either going to landfill or just to destruction with that program. So uh, Uplevel is currently in pilot. We're raising capital for that at the moment. We're partnering with local governments and organizations here. So if you're interested in being involved in any way, if you can connect us to uh, BPOs, or uh, if you're interested in volunteering, we have volunteer and internship opportunities too. Yeah, if you just want to follow along for the journey, uh, we can share that too. So yeah, we've got lots happening here in Davao. And I guess for me personally, we've got a lot of value created for our business that goes back to Australia because we're headquartered in Australia. So we pay our corporate taxes in Australia. And while our team, for the most part, pay their taxes here, we don't have a company established here paying you know, large taxes here from our profits from the US clients and from the European clients and from the Australian clients. 
But personally, I really want to do whatever I can to contribute to the ecosystem here to support the economy, to support community as a way of fair value exchange. Because, you know, we've received a lot of value here, but I want to make sure that we're also providing a net positive value to the Philippines. Hence, the fire in my belly for the, you know, the program that we're running with Uplevel. I'm really excited about that. And um, we've got big plans for it.